What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're on the hunt for 50Ps again. We're hoping to try and make some more progress on our book, try and get this complete sometime soon. Um, I know that's a big ask, of course. There's a few hard to find coins we still need. Key dates from the last hunt, of course, we always have a close look through at the end. Come back at the beginning of the next one and tell you about key dates. Just three 2008 Britannias from the last time out. Um, and they're not really worth much, to be honest. You'd be lucky to get more than face value for them, but I do still keep them. Let's have a look, refresh our memory, what we still need. And we've got the inserts in. Thanks again to Katie Jones. Um, she came to the Raw Mint with us and brought me my inserts. I know she put a lot of work into making them. Of course, at the moment, we've only got a few in use because most of the book's full. Um, but we've got 2009 Kew Gardens, of course, we still need. That is, of course, the one to find. Then we still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Olympics now. We've managed to get that number down. So we need Olympic Aquatics, Football, which is the scarcest Olympic, very tough to find. Judo, which is again another tricky one. Modern Pentathlon, Rowing, Table Tennis, which we of course found in the last time, but it was in a right state. Olympic Weightlifting and Olympic Wheelchair Rugby. But I have news on the Table Tennis front. Now, I'm not one for cleaning coins, but there wasn't much cleaning needed and it came out okay. Still some marks on it, but I think that's passable for the book. What do you think, guys? That side's actually pretty nice, but yeah, that's going in the book for sure. So now we just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, now we need seven. It was eight we were down to, wasn't it? But now we officially only need seven. And table tennis you are in so the seven olympics and kew gardens let's see if we can find any of those we'll just be happy with some variety of course hopefully we find a few bits and pieces let's put these britannias off to the side before i end up putting them back in the bag all right let's do it We've done all right recently. Three Olympics in the last hunt. So, and this, I think it's the same date again, the 20, 20th of August. So, bagged up on the same day as the one from the last hunt. And of course, again, we will check the Shields and Britannia's for key dates afterwards. And that's not a good start. Bus bag, but. That was the case last time out as well, and it turned out okay. Let's keep it going. To be fair, it was one bag that we found all three Olympics in, in the last hunt. Um, and we've still done all right other than that. We found, what else did we find? WWF, a couple of Tiggy Winkles, Battle of Britain. So we've done okay, but that one bag um, really paid us out. And especially giving us two that we need for the book. This is not looking good though, guys. One bus bag, okay. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it picks up. I want to find something. I want to be able to try and do my uh, annotations again. Oh, there we go. There's a Benjamin Bunny. Of course, last 50p hunt. For the last two, we've tried doing some annotations and values for those above face value. Of course, Benjamin Bunny, the most common circulating commemorative, 25 million minutes, which is a colossal amount. But yeah, hopefully we've got the music at a correct level or on a, uh, what's the word? A level that people can cope with it at. Do keep giving me feedback, I do appreciate it. I'd rather you told me there's Jeremy Fisher, again from the 2017 set. I'd rather you told me you didn't like something than just stop watching, you know. So do let me know if there's something you don't really don't like or there's something you think I could be doing in a different way. Really trying to upgrade on the, uh, the quality of the videos now, I think. Ah, it's a jersey. Now we have about seven or eight different dates of this already in the book. And we definitely have the 1997, the first year of the new smaller 50 pence. We'll still keep it though, for sure. 
we follow that out with the girl guiding. 2010, pretty common though. At least we're starting to find a few things. <laughs> Hope everybody is keeping well. There's another Benjamin Bunny. It's two for the hunt already. We of course, we of course sign our Benjamin Bunnies, send them back out into the wild. Nobody has reported finding one of ours yet. I'm sure, it'll be a matter of time. We've signed quite a few now. There he is. Paddington at St Paul's Cathedral from the 2019 set and we wait still for mintage figures from last year apparently it's going to be a bit of a longer wait this year so we'll keep waiting none of them are going to be madly rare are they we know that so there's 2018 release 100 years of the representation of the people act Another common one though, 9 million minted. Need to start, oh lovely, there's a nice find. 2016's Peter Rabbit. Now quite a high mintage for its value, but being the iconic first Peter Rabbit coin from the Beatrix Potter set in 2016. That's quite a high value for the um, for the mintage, you know. I mean, it's not worth a massive amount, but... There's Benjamin Bunny again, number three. Yeah, I was going to say, I need to start talking about coins we'd like to find, because... The other week we said, oh, haven't found a territory in a while. Next coin was a capture of Gibraltar. So, haven't found a Kew Gardens in a while. <laughs> There's Tom Kitten. Just needing the tail of Peter Rabbit now to complete the 2017 set. We'll pop him next to the other two there. Just a 2019 shield. I thought it was a 2017 low mintage. As I say, we do look through for the key dates afterwards. If we spot one while we're hunting, we will whip it out. There's another Benjamin Bunny there. Lots to sign today. There he is. Number four already. Wow. Where's the Olympics? Where are you? There's a Christopher Ironside. Famous coin designer. Site. Designed. designed all of the uh, first decimal coinage in the UK. About halfway through, I think. Keep it rolling. There's Roger Bannister's four minute mile. Again, pretty common. There we go, there's something. Benjamin Britten. It's one that we just don't find that often anymore. Composer, born 1913. Blow, bugle, blow. Set the wild echoes flying. You can spot that obverse a mile off, unique to this coin. And we certainly keep it. Getting fooled by dates. 
Oh, the dog is on high alert. What is it, snacks? There's another Benjamin Bunny, jeez. I know they're common, but this is like when they first came out again. Dropping another coin. What's going on with me? Second Christopher Iron side of the day. Another. Wow. Been a long time since we found something like a duck, a Newton, anything like that. Would be nice. 2018 Peter Rabbit or Flopsy Bunny. So, so tough to come by these rare coins. What we really want is that Kew Gardens, Olympic football, Olympic judo. Surprised we haven't found aquatics yet. That is a bit of a strange one to not have found yet. The seven Olympics we still need. Highlight is over, it's collapsed in a heap. Wow. Come on, come on. Oh, there's a lovely find though. And that is one we don't see too often. Not in the realms of the other few that I just mentioned in terms of value or rarity, but still pretty scarce. And a lovely design, I think. NHS 50th anniversary, 1998. Lovely coin. Star find so far, I would say. Five more bags already, we're just down to the last five. I'm rattling through them here. There's our first dictionary. And that's the third most common design in circulation. Used to be the first until Benjamin and Peter, Taylor Peter Rabbit, came and took over. Speaking of the tail of Peter Rabbit, that was one there. There's a couple of coins in here. And there he is, completing that 2017 Beatrix Potter set with those four. He's very common though as well. And there is a very grubby Sherlock Holmes. How's it got in that state already? Another filthy coin, a few of these in this bag. Because that Taylor Peter Rabbit wasn't great either. And there's our first 100 years of scouting of the hunt. 2007. Ooh, and another representation of the People Act. Well, it's a bit of a... We've still got three bags left, so we could find anything in there still, but compared to our recent luck, it's not quite up there, is it? A few more bags to turn it around. It's been a while since we've had some penultimate or last bag luck, so maybe that'll be in for us. There's a much nicer condition. Scouting, 100 years of scouting, be prepared. Much better much nicer condition and we may even keep that actually that's in such nice condition do tend to keep those if they are nice and there's also a better tail of peter rabbit all right two more an ultimate bag 
which one of these two is hiding the Q? Well, there's another Benjamin Bunny anyway. <laughs> uh, we've gone from high alert to snoring with the dog, so the danger has obviously passed. Last bag, come on. And it's looking like a bust. It is. Unlucky. Nothing for the book. Not a sniff of an Olympic. No top tier finds really, but we'll keep these five here. I would keep Sherlock, but it's a bit grimy, isn't it? Um, star find. Got to be 50th anniversary of the NHS. Lovely, lovely coin. But thanks for tuning in. Come back next time. Hopefully we'll find some Olympics, um, a duck, a Newton and a Q all in one hunt. You never know. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Speak to you again soon. Drop us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, all that good stuff. And there'll be some more of my videos in the end screen. Um, click on those, watch some more coiny goodness. See you later.